everybody, this is Perch. Um, there's something about me, and I think it it probably comes across in these videos, although maybe not very well. I'm, I'm thinking about a new thing, by the way, where I record the video, and at the very end, I record the beginning of the video, and I like summarize, like the too long didn't read uh, version, like the here's here's the point that's about to be made in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because I ramble. I, I know this. Um, this is a hobby. Uh, this is not professional. I don't write any notes out for myself. I mean, clearly, you can tell that with the way I pronounce names at different times. And, um, you know, in, in real time, like, was that 1994, 1996? I don't quite remember. It was a long time. I don't know what accent that was. Anyway, um, I, I think I, I need to, I need to get to, I, you know, get to the point a little faster. Because <laughs> I, I, too often in the comments, I see people are like, you're an idiot. And then like 10 minutes later, it's like, oh, that's what you're trying to say. Okay. And it's like, it's not your fault. It's mine. It's me. It's not you. It's me. It's me. Um, but so in that regard, here's my premise. There's more than one way that things can be bad. So, or good, by the way, but we're going to focus more on bad because, you know, negativity sells and that's what YouTube wants. So we're going to feed the algorithm. No, it's, there's more than one way. And I think one of the areas that consistently it feels like comic critique and, and, you know, the kind of fan disconnect is because if something is bad, everyone, if people try and filter it all into the same little funnel of what's bad. So now here's me trying to explain what I mean by that. Um, I'm an outcome guy. Um, I don't, you know, to me and, and, uh, and it's always been kind of in my life, I'd like to think it's somewhat why I've been successful. Um, I know other successful people, then this tends to be a, a trait that uh, kind of a personality trait that you see repeated a lot. And it's basically, uh, it, if something fails, if, if a project uh, goes off the rails, it's important to figure out why, you know, in, in the software industry, we try all this, you know, you do a retrospective and everybody comes up and they give their opinions and everything. Um, it's, it's always, it's interesting, but it doesn't change the fact that it fails, and in business, uh, in whether you're, you're, you're a broker, whether you're in tech, whether you're in uh, pharmaceutical, wherever you happen to be, um, something not working out, the outcome is failure. And there may be a lot of reasons for that failure. And again, it's, it's always good to kind of know why, but it's not good. It's not important to know why to mitigate or change the result. The result is still failure. The reason why you want to know why is so you don't repeat it in the future. And this is a really a very important distinction. And if I could give one piece of advice to people out there, try and try and absorb this concept. It is not about, it's, it's not about, uh, you know, it, I think people, sometimes they want to get the reasons why something failed as a way to kind of uh, soften the blow of the failure. But that is largely a trap. It prevents you from picking up, uh, you know, trying again or fixing the failure. Or, you know, in many cases, it's a good way to block off empathy. If you've got a, a group of people who are impacted by that failure and you waste time talking about why it failed, uh, the person who, you know, was impacted by this is like, screw you. It, it, I, I, was, I was impacted by this. I'm not really interested in the long history of, of why things went wrong. It's it again. That doesn't mean you don't learn from your mistakes, but that's that's exactly it. You should learn from your mistakes. It doesn't mean a mistake was never made. Now, how does this all this relate to comics? Um, well, there's a lot of reasons why a comic book might fail. They're not all the same reason. Uh, it's not just oh the uh, the you know the writer is, is hateful and said bad things on social media so the book failed. Could also be that the artist was not, you know, commercially viable. That you know nothing about it hooked. It could be that the marketing was bad. It could be the price point was too expensive. It could be the shipping was all over the place. There could be lots of reasons why something failed. And if you want to be successful, both for yourself, whether you're continuing to work with you know with that same project or on your own special thing, uh, it's important to recognize first and foremost something didn't work. It didn't work, and therefore your result was failure. Now, that 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 immediately the, the faster you digest that, the faster you accept it, the faster you can start moving on to doing something else. Then it comes to the reasons for the failure, and the reasons for the failure are all about instruction. It's about trying to figure out, you know, how do I not repeat this? 
it's always forward looking, not backward looking. And this is why, you know, even with making software, I've, I've sat in on many, many retrospectives. Some teams do them every two weeks, just as a, you know, it's, it's just something that's going to happen. I'm sure some of you are in that situation right now. And what you notice is like the same things get brought up over and over and over. And you start to think to yourself, um, all right, well, at what point are we actually, you know, why don't we stop talking about the thing that fails like clockwork every two weeks? And why don't we start, you know, how are we not going to have it fail in the future? It, it, it's a successful retrospective, people will tell you, is about looking forward, not looking backward. Even though you're bringing up history, the real thing you're doing is trying to you know, make a plan for how it's going to be better in the future. This is a very important distinction. It's why comic books, I think, in many cases, fail in the exact same way every time. It's like Groundhog Day. It's like, here's a book. It comes out, there's no marketing, there's, uh, it, you know, it's a bad solicitation, nobody's really sure what's going on, it bounces around, and it's canceled after four issues. And this happens over and over and over. And all, it, all this indicates are, one, people aren't accepting failure, or worse, they're blaming failure on the wrong thing, like, this book failed, but that's only because people wouldn't buy it. Those bastards, they wouldn't actually buy this book. Uh, I hear that a lot, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me making up some straw man. This is an excuse I've heard many, many times, which is this was a perfect book. It had a great creative team. Uh, the story was amazing. It was a real hook. And the only problem was people didn't buy it. And, I, you know, those stupid customers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that, that it is true. It is true that the problem is people didn't buy it. But. You know, you, you, that, you can't, well, how, it, it's like, okay, what are we going to do different next time? We're going to make the customers buy it. Okay. It's like, no, that doesn't work. That's not how sales work. That's not how projects work. You, you, you are, you are crazy, sir. Um, I, I think there, again, there's a lot of reasons why things fail. Uh, more than one. I did the, uh, I've, I've talked some about, uh, um, uh, Tanahishi coats lately. And I know uh, I've pissed some people off because I've mentioned that, uh, I don't think, I don't think the problem is that he is, uh, you know, is, I don't think the problem is that he doesn't get Captain America. A lot of people believe that. I know this is an unpopular opinion I'm stating right now. Um, I think the problem is, is the, the writing, the pacing of the story is just bad. Captain America, you know, Captain America is, is, a is almost a co-star in that book. He, he's, he's, it's really, you know, Sharon Carter. Absolutely. I think that character is being written terribly. I don't think people get that character at all. Uh, a lot of the other guest stars in that book, I don't think are, are gotten at all, but the captain America is actually, I don't know. There's just not a lot there. I, I, I can't say that, that Coates doesn't get captain America because there's not much there to get. So, it, you know, uh, what would we say? Oh, I think the book is bad. Why? Is it because Coates doesn't get Captain America? I don't think so. I think it's other reasons. I think it's, it's interesting to explore those other reasons. But at the end of the day, failure is still failure. If Captain America, you know, with a movie, a uh, major character in Endgame, a uh, major part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, selling around twenty two to 24,000 copies a month, yeah, that's failure. S sorry. That's not even me arbitrarily picking a number. That's your own company picking that number. That's on the verge of cancellation. With all that outside material, with the fact that the Captain America logo and that merchandise is omnipresent, you see, I mean, it's like you see that everywhere. Everybody has that brand out there and you can't make a comic work. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's failure. Now, it's, it's again, it's interesting to learn why it's failing, but it doesn't change the fact that it's failed. And I think if you can separate those two out, it makes for much more speedy recovery. We can say, hey, something failed. Uh, we, we, need to, we need to pick it up. We need to fix it. We need to, uh, we need to you know, rip that Band-Aid off and let's get to a solution. And hey, if we're going to investigate why it failed, it all should be in the context of how we're going to do it differently in the future, how we're going to make it better, how we're going to win this time. Food for thought. Anyway, 
uh, there you go. I'll try and come up with something much more spicy uh, for the next uh, video. But but uh, anyway, a little little. Uh, this is how I think. Is this how you think? I don't know. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. This is this this may help explain the videos. And I need to do that uh, too long didn't read version there at the end. It's it's all about maximizing our time. I have failed at different times, and there's a reason why. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, description stuff on on it goes. And thanks for listening.